it's your girl Razia J and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time landing on my channel, welcome. If this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. If this is your first time hearing my voice, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you've been rocking with Ray for a little while, I wanna say thank you for rocking with me, thank you for rolling with me, thank you for hanging with your girl. So guys, this channel is where my family, faith, and social work intersect. So as many of you know, I am a military spouse to an amazing service member. I have two adorable babies. Um, they're not babies anymore, but I have two adorable children. And I am also in grad school to become a social worker. And that is something I'm super passionate about, super excited about. Literally, social work is where I belong. Um, and as many of you know, I am a current student at Fordham University Grad School of Social Service. And I do have a few questions that I have been getting a lot. So I felt like this is the perfect time to come on here and give you guys a quick, quick, quick um, Q&A, answer your questions, give you an update on what's going on and letting you know where it's, where it's, where I've been, what's been going on, how's grad school, how's internship, all the things that social work students, present or future would like to know. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned to this video. And as always guys, give me a thumbs up because that helps my channel grow. Subscribe, share my channel with your friends and your family. And what other housekeeping rules do I need to share? And as always, leave me a comment down below. Like I really enjoy speaking to you guys, whether it's down below in the comments or in my DMs. I really enjoy spending time getting to know the people that watch my videos because that means that we are family. I really want this platform, this channel to grow. I want this to be a safe space for social workers but I also want this to be a safe space for moms and family members and service members so really and truly I really want to see this channel grow and I want to help you guys figure out a little bit of things so this video this one right here is for the social workers the future social work students the current social work students those that are in between programs whether you have a bsw and you're contemplating going back for your msw this video is for you so if you want to know the few answers that i have to questions that i was recently asked and if you want to know what's going on with me as it pertains to me being a student at fordham stay tuned okay guys so here it is the q a the questions the answers so first i want to give you guys an update i have been at fordham since august 2021 i actually got into the program last march or april i applied to the program february 15th so that date is rapidly approaching and I want to say three weeks or four weeks later, I got my acceptance letter into the program. Fordham was not the only program that I applied to. I applied to Syracuse University and I applied to Columbia University. I did not get a rejection letter from any of these schools, but I chose Fordham because it worked with me. And if you want to know why I chose Fordham, I'll link the video in the cards or in the description box so you can see why I went with Fordham. Okay, so that's out the way. Um, so I've been with Fordham since August of 2021. Today is February 6, 2022, and I am currently in week five of my second semester first term. So I graduated in May, but our semesters are broken into eight week terms. So right now I am in the first term and I am five weeks in. I have three weeks left in this term and then I am gonna do my second term and I will be graduating, God willing, in May. Um, so that's where I'm at. Currently, I am loving the program. Listen, every school has hiccups and Fordham was not void of the hiccups. And I would make a video later um, in details about the hiccups and how I navigated through them. But all programs, all academic um, institutes, all universities is going to have some hiccups along the way. It's how you deal with it and how your support staff deals with it that matters. So currently I am enjoying the program. I love the platform. I do think that I wish that I was in person so I could do a little bit more um, and I can get into the program a little bit more and meet more people. But I do feel like as an online student, the experience is beautiful. The 2-4 platform is beautiful. The one thing that I do need to put as a disclaimer, Fordham 
whether you are online or in person, if you are in the Graduate School of Social Work, you are going to have class time. So whether that is on campus or on Zoom, every week, you're gonna have time for class. So when you register for your classes, you see if you want them Tuesdays or Thursdays or Saturdays and you pick the time slots and you have to show up. They're big on attendance. They will, will, will fail you if you don't show up. So that is something that I really wanted to just share really quickly. I do have to put on my glasses because I do have the questions written down and I can't see without them right now. I'm blind as a bat. I don't really know what's going on. I can't even see my viewfinder or my little screen on my camera, but I hope this is going good. So I'm gonna put on my glasses. I have them right here and I am going to read the questions. I try not to wear the glasses anymore because of the little circle ring. I just felt like they looked very, it looked very tacky in the videos and I was like, uh-uh. But if I do have to read, I have to put them on because I can't see. So I gave you an update. I told you where I'm at in the program. So. One of the questions I got was, how is faculty and classes at Fordham? Faculty is amazing. The faculty members that I have interacted with are amazing, amazing, amazing. Hands down, outside of one professor at my previous school, these professors have been the best, top notch. When I say that they are invested in my academic journey and in my future as a social worker, I truly believe that. I have support from my um, professors. I have support from my advisors. I have support from the school and I really, really love that. Classes on the other hand is a lot of reading, async work out of the wazoo. So it's a lot of async work um, and you have to do your async work. There's no way that you would get the participation points for your grade without doing the async work. So faculty is amazing, professors amazing, classes is a lot. So if you are thinking about going to Fordham, you really have to think about which program works for you. I do have some colleagues, classmates that have become friends to me that are, is in the part-time program and they're taking one class, a term, and that works for them. It gives them the flexibility to do other things. As far as I'm concerned, I am in the full-time eight-month program, so I take five classes a semester. So two classes each term, and for the entire semester, I am in field. So it is a lot more for me, but if you want to go to this program and you feel like you can't juggle the time, then you do have an option of part-time and doing it at your own leisure. What classes have I taken? I think that I will put a little scrolly um, thing here with the classes that I have taken, but I took community organizing. I took um, a research class, interventions. Um, I took a CBT class. I also took um, a policy um, engagement class. And currently I am in comparative social work and also I am in a individuals, family, and group class. Um, in Fordham, you have to take one class from every domain that they have, and then you have the free will to pick whatever classes you want as electives. In the state of New York, I did a video on requirements to have your LCSW. You need to have 12 credit hours in clinical, classes. So although I am in the macro track, I am um, starting to take more clinical classes because I only have the semester left. So I'm taking more clinical classes. Next term, I am taking a supervision class as well as a suicide prevention or suicide um, trauma class because I am interested in that. So those are the classes that I have taken and the classes that I will take. How was my experience with field placement in the field office? I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I did a whole rant video about how Fordham got me an interview. Um, the field office got me an interview. I got a field placement back in May of 2021. And then in August of 2021, a week or a few days before classes started, I was told that that field placement was not happening. And um, basically, we'll see what happens, right? I was already in my field class. It was slated to have the first meeting September 29th. Um, and I was just like, what am I gonna do? Like, I am in an eight month program, I don't have time. And the options was like, we either find a new placement or um, 
you extend into the summer and that was not an option for me i took this program for a reason so i would say this field office is trash um they need to have better leads um better communication and they need to really take into consideration what um the student wants to do one of the things that i hear across the board from my colleagues in my cohort is that you fill out this paper saying what you want to do and they put you in any placement that they that they deem okay right uh, for me they got me into a placement that was supposed to be like mobile counseling I'm not even on a clinical track, but they also had this clause that we couldn't deny a placement. So I took the placement and I was excited about trying clinical work, but thankfully in, on my, in, in, in my defense, I'm thankful that that went kaput because I was able to secure a new placement. The one thing I would say is in any pr program, and I am going to stress this to any new student, in any program, do your research and look for a placement Irregardless to if the program is gonna provide you with leads, look for your own placement. So for me, I went on Facebook, I leveraged my social media and social workers that I knew. And I was like, does anybody know a placement? I knew that I didn't want to reach back out to my old placement because that was not an option for me. I was not interested in that, but I knew that I needed a placement. So I got on Facebook, I got a few leads. Um, shout out to this social worker out of New Jersey, Marlene. She told me to reach out to a specific person and I got the internship that I am in now at the NASW New Jersey chapter. So the field office is whack, but my experience with fields is this. My field class, my field professor, hands down, amazing. I love her. Um, when the program is done, I really want to connect with her because she is doing things in the community that is exceptional. And I think that she's an amazing professor. I think that she really cares about what we're learning. She cares about how we are experiencing Phil. She cares about like the impact that field is having in our academic journey and how we are bridging the gap and making it a picture. And I really love that about her. My field placement, I love it. I feel like I am learning a lot. I feel like this field placement gives me an opportunity to do the things that I want to do. Um, my executive director, um, the entire staff and my chapter, man, they are helpful. You ask questions, they are answering it. If you have a, a passion, they are running with it and they're letting you take the lead on what this experience looks like for you. And I know for some, they don't like that. They may want to be micromanaged and it's not that there's no um, supervision or there's no, um, coaching and mentoring at my internship but they really curate it for each student so what i want to do what i'm passionate about where i want to end up as a social worker is things that they take into consideration when they're giving me um, projects and assignments another question that i got was any advice on applying to grad school and how to pick a school i would say this the only advice i have for applying to grad school is this simple do your research do your research and don't limit yourself um look for a grad school that looks like the picture of a social worker that you want right programs are diverse they have a lot going on but what i would say is look at the faculty members look at what they're known for look at the cost consider all the things before you make a final decision another thing that i want to say is don't sell yourself short apply to all the programs like all of the programs apply 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 as for me i applied to three programs that i really wanted to get into and i was not afraid of the outcome right and then i made a decision based on what worked for me my pockets my educational goals my career goals and all of that so i would say like apply to all the programs do the research don't limit yourself to just programs in your state um if there's a program out of your state that you're really interested in apply and ask for scholarships and when it comes to picking the school pick the school that works for you I have had many social work students drop out of a program, not because the program was horrible, but because it did not work for them. So make sure you pick a program that works for you, your situation and your learning style. And that's all I really have to share as far as the update to um, where I'm at right now. I do have eight plus three. So I have like 
11 more weeks left in grad school and I'm super, super excited. I'm super excited about the future and I'm super excited to come back with my uh, another update, whether that's a final update or if there's more updates in between. I'm not too sure because I have a lot on my plate, but this update was for those that asked. Um, if you want to apply to Fordham, don't be afraid. You can reach out to me. I can help you with the process and I can connect you if this person has um, availability. I can connect you with an admission up counselor that really was, um, she played a major role in me saying yes to the program. Um, so if you're interested in Fordham and you want to know more in detail, you can message me, you can email me, you can get in contact with me and I'll give you more details. Um, if you guys would like to see a video that's only about Fordham specific things, let me know. I could do that as well. But keep in mind that your experience as a student is your experience. So how I perceive um, Fordham and how I, the experience that I'm having may not be yours, but that's okay. So this is the end of the video. Until next time, guys, I really hope that you guys are having a great, 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 great new year. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a heart or something cool. I did want to share a quote with you guys before we go, um, because I've been big into quotes <laughs> this year. So the quote I wanted to share with you guys today is, you are never too old to set another goal or dream a new dream. So wherever you are, so wherever you are in life, know that you're never too old to set a new goal and to dream a new dream and to go after it with your whole heart. So until next time, peace.